Today I'm going to be testing out five different WNBA basketball sneakers, letting you know which one is better based on the price, the comfortability, and the design of the sneaker. First I have on the Arike Agumbawale. This is not her signature sneaker, however it is a collab with GT Cut 2s. The details on the sneaker makes it seem like it's her signature. It is a beautiful shoe in homage to Milwaukee and her family. The design is standout just like her as a hooper. There's a crazy cushion in these right on the ball of your foot right here and then right here in the back. So the cushion is insane on these. I feel like bouncy. Yeah. I give that squeak an 8.5 out of 10. That was a very good squeak. I like these. These are interesting. I don't feel like flat footed like I normally feel, like leveled. Like there's literally a cushion in the middle of my foot right here. You can hear that. These are nice. There's like the grip in these are insane. The traction is great. Stopping. Stop. Ooh. Ooh. They're low cut. There's not too much ankle support. They feel really light. I feel bouncy. There's a lot of cushion. I like them so far. The price point on these sneakers is $170. That is on the higher end for a basketball sneaker, so I give that a six out of 10. You gotta hit some shots like Arike, okay? The only way to test out these shoes is to do moves like her. We gotta try the buzzer beater move. She did. Oh. Ooh. Gotta have it to win the game. I'll give them an eight out of 10. I do love this colorway too. I have to put Arike Gumbuale sneaker at A tier. The design, the comfortability, and overall the shoe is a great performer. On to the next shoe. The next sneaker we have are the Sabrina Unescu. These are Sabrina's signature shoe with Nike called the Sabrina Ones, and a lot of people say that they remind them of Kobe 5s. The different materials is super nice and looks pleasing. Sabrina's logo is plastered all over the shoe, but this is my custom colorway, so if you don't like it, it's on me. The first colorway that dropped to the public was super sleek. I got Nadia customized on the side. These are Nike ID'd. These are way different from the Enrique Gumboale sneakers. There is no cushion for the ball of your toe. The cushion is in your arch. So right here, this foam piece, you can see me squishing it right here. You can feel it a lot in your arch. I personally like the arch. Some people don't like feeling that. Squeak test not given as great as the other sneaker. I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. Already the traction, not as great. These are light, they aren't heavy. Again, a lot of the sneakers don't really have ankle support. Um, however, your heel doesn't feel like it's moving. Like your foot doesn't slide around in the shoe if you have the right size. So far they're light, I don't really feel them. Like they don't bother me. They almost feel like a sock around your foot. And the price tag for these sneakers is $130. They're comfortable, don't get me wrong, but after having those GT Cut 2s on, it's a hard comparison, okay? I'm comparing them against each other. So, with that being said, I give these a 7.5 out of 10. I would have to give the Sabrina ones a B tier. They aren't as comfortable as the Enrique Agumboales, but the price point is amazing and the design is great. A lot of these sneakers are my first time trying them on except for the Sabrinas and the Enrique. So the first two I've already worn before. However, these are my first time putting my foot in this sneaker. This is the Under Armour Flow Breakthrough 4 sneaker collab with Kelsey Plum. These are not her signature sneaker, but they do have a plum colorway and a removable sticker that says plum right on it. Kelsey Plum did promote this sneaker on her social media. There's some, some huge cushion going on back here in this heel area. My foot feels very flat on top of a cushion. It's not targeting any specific part of my foot. It all feels just one, but I do like how you can tie these tight, causing your foot to feel like it's snug and secure in the shoe. These are the lightest shoes I've put on so far. Let's do a squeak test. <laughs> oh. 
Wait, <laughs> let me let me try again. Hold on, let me see if I wipe them or something. All right, let's try again. Take two. Breath. No, nothing. We're not getting anything. Wow, that squeak is um. Wow. Okay. The traction is there. It's just the squeak is not there. So they're not making a squeaking sound, but when I plant my foot, it's stopping. The thing I don't like is my toe. You come here real quick. You can see my toes popping up through the shoe. So when I'm stepping, look at my toe pushing through here. After a lot of wear and tear on these, I feel like the material on the front would wear out pretty easily, but. struggling let me lock in these sneakers cost 135 dollars but they feel cheaper than the sabrina ones so i have to give them a 7 out of 10 for the price ah! i'm not gonna lie i'm not feeling these okay i'm sorry kelsey <clears throat> my foot is sliding on the inside I wish I could explain what the bottom of the shoe feels like. It's not rubber. It feels like styrofoam. What? Listen to this. I don't think I've heard that on a basketball sneaker happen before. I'm just a bucket, but. Oh. The bank's open. I'd have to say so far, these are my least favorite shoes so far. Giving these a six out of 10. Kelsey Plum, I'm sorry to have to put you at a D tier, but they're comfortable, just my foot moved around a lot and the traction is not very good. On to the next basketball sneaker. Somehow I lost my footage of me testing these out. So I'm about to test them out right now. These are the Stewie Twos and this is the water colorway. These sneakers are from Puma and look kind of like the Lamello Ball Lows. There's not too much personality on the sneaker besides Stewie putting her logo on them. However, the materials used on the sneaker flow well together and I like the traction. It has a lot of multi-directional lines on this pair making waves, which is pretty cool. They feel like Lamello Balls. They kind of look similar too. Your foot is flat. It's not targeting any certain spot, but there's definitely cushion going on. Like a memory foam or something, it feels like. I did the squeak test last time on these, and um, it wasn't good, so. And this is a whole different gym. For some reason, these don't squeak. Nah. Nothing. These sneakers cost $125. I feel as though for these particular shoes, it is a fair price because of the cushion and quality. I give the price an 8 out of 10. But I do like that they're comfortable. They feel a little higher on the ankle, but not too much higher. They are lightweight. Oh my god. Oh man. Selling the clip against a basketball is crazy. I collected some dust quickly. The shoe's not bad. Give these shoes a 6.5 out of 10. The Stewie twos are pretty average, so a C fits them very well. I wish that Stewie would put some personality on them. It would make them better. It's just crazy how many different materials is on here. It's actually like, these are chunky. Asia Wilson collabed with Nike on a sneaker called the Cosmic Unity 3. They're different and unique in the fact that they're made from recycled material. But the colors and personality on the sneakers, I really, really loved. She added a quote, her number, and some other details, even though this isn't a signature shoe for her. In my opinion, this is one of the prettiest sneakers I've seen in a while. My feet never look this chunky, whoa. Super cute. The details on this shoe are super cute. I love all the different materials. I love the saying on the shoe. It says, if you can see her, you can be her. The box came in a recycled material box. These are a lot of recycled materials. And so far I like them. They are heavier than all the other sneakers I would say. 
I have a lot of cushion coming in here, hitting my arch. It's kind of nice. I like that feeling of it targeting something. Um, I feel like if you wear them for a longer amount of time, you know, your feet won't be as tired and hurting. They're stiff though. My foot, even though they're bulky, my foot is staying in the same spot. Okay, it must just be Nike sneakers that squeak these days. <laughs> Better than the other ones. I'd give this squeak test a seven out of 10. I know they say usually like on NBA players, like Kyrie, he's a point guard, so his sneaker is built for point guards, right? Asia Wilson is a post player. So is this shoe designed for a post player or can a point guard wear it? I don't know, we're about to find out. <laughs> These sneakers cost $160, them being recyclable and a bunch of different materials. I think the price is fair. I give it an eight out of 10. These shoes feel heavy, okay? They're big, they're super big. I feel like my foot is supported, but it's a lot. It's a lot. It stopped nicely. It stopped how I would want it to stop. They're not bad off jumping. Lefty, oh my gosh. I did that because Asia's left-handed. I'm trying to decide if I would choose these out of all the other sneakers. And they're a little heavy right now. With all the technology these days, light sneakers are the way to go. 7.8. For Asia Wilson sneakers, I have to go with a C tier. They're just too heavy for me. I love the colors, I love the design and personality, but too heavy. Asia Wilson is having a new sneaker dropping in 2025 called the A1. I'm so excited for her new line coming out, her brand. It's gonna be amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. Make sure to tune into the WNBA. Their season has just begun. Love you, fam. Peace! Hello.